Shalom greetings in the name of the Lord Yeshua. I just felt like to do a short video about um, Judas, the betrayer who betrayed his own Lord. His Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ, that has been so good to him. Even studying through the scriptures, you will see that he had the money purse with him like a thief to even safeguard him from going out there to steal the money purse of donations for the disciples and the Lord Yeshua was somehow in the reach of Judas. So it was taken from that. And sometimes you see him talk as in the time the woman was using her tears to wash the feet of the Lord Yeshua and using her hair to wipe it. After, you know, then she put a costly ointment and you see Judas saying, why didn't she, you know, go and sell this ointment? Well, you call perfume today, but the mixture of the perfume today is quite different from the mixture of the perfume in the time of Israel. Just as you have wine, non-alcoholic wine and alcoholic wine. So Judas was complaining that the ointment could have been sold for a lot of money, a lot of um, currency, their own currency then was in gold and silver. Because even Judas betrayed the Lord for 30 shekels of silver. So that was their currency then. You see, the Lord God Almighty knew the minds of those that were with him because if you look at the fact that the Lord chose 12 disciples, there were 12, you know, male children of Jacob, Israel, 12 tribes in the nation of Israel. So it was like each of them were representing their tribes. So Dan was not a good tribe, was the tribe that fell. And the tribe of Judah was the tribe that rose. Just as we see in the, you know, story of the Lord Yeshua, Yeshua rose. The body that was buried and then rose was seemingly, you put that as we, being like a type of Peter, who, you know, we had done something wrong, but the Lord restored us. And... The body of Judas, who killed himself in suicide, is the body of Dan that is going down, down to the ghost area. If you like saying Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, maybe you are attached to Dan, maybe you are a Danite, a betraying tribe. So I put some scriptures there, I don't need to read all of it, but there are scriptures that prove that even before Judas literally carried out his wicked actions to betray his Lord, he was done for because it was written concerning him that woe is the man that would dare betray his Lord. For him willingly going to the Roman you know, soldiers, the Roman wicked ones who were oppressing the children of God at that time, even baby Yeshua had to be taken into you know, hiding at the time for Herod not to kill him. So these were oppressors that Judah went to meet to get paid with 30 shekels of silver, not even gold, just to betray his own Lord that is so gentle, so holy, so pure, didn't do anything wrong to Judas. That's why Judas had been condemned even before he literally betrayed his lord the son of man goes as it is written of him matthew 26 24 but woe unto that man by whom the son of man is betrayed it would have been good for that man if he had not been born because judas was filled with satan satan entered into Judas. He even wanted to take communion, pretending to be still holy disciple. Be careful how you take holy communion when you are not holy. By so doing, the scripture says many have been doomed. 1 Corinthians 11, 28-30 Let a person examine himself then, and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. 
in a holy manner. For anyone who eats or drinks without discerning the body, eats and drinks judgment on himself. That is why many of you are weak and ill, and some have even died. Going into God's house or fellowship gathering, you must enter into God's presence in holiness. You must do what you're doing there, Holy Communion, in holiness too. If you are just doing it anyhow, all the diagnoses that come, you don't link it to you dressing so worldly, everything out, yet you say you take Holy Communion. Thank God for God's mercy upon this generation. So woe is to Judas. And the reason that I'm even sharing this is because there seems to be so many people betraying each other this end time. So many betrayers. So many friends betraying each other and not caring about hell. Because Satan, according to 2 Corinthians 4, 4 have had their minds darkened and blinded. So they don't think about the hell that they are going because God Almighty did not spare Judas. And so all betrayers, essentially those who say they are believers, they are disciples, they are Christians, they are this, they are that. You are betraying. Then you have done. You have Judas. There is no mercy. Because I've heard a few times some people implying, suggesting that if only Judas had prayed like Peter, Peter denied the Lord. Judas betrayed the Lord. Judas put effort, will, and thought into what he was going to do for 30 shekels of silver. But if you consider Peter, Peter acted like a child of God. Out of fear, sudden wrath of the Roman soldiers upon the Lord and People identifying Peter to be of the Lord. Made him fear. There's no excuse to deny the Lord. But thank God for the prayer of the Lord for Peter. A disciple of the Lord Yeshua, just like Judas too was a disciple of the Lord Yeshua with 10 others. Peter is an example of you and me in our love for Christ. But you know, remember those in Nigeria in the north, they have been attacked like a child. That's just giving their lives to Christ too, loving the Lord and serving Yeshua. All of a sudden, Boko Haram says, Deny Christ. You will see that so many who are like the zealous believers who have just received Yeshua in Acts chapter 19, 1 to 7, they will be quick to go from spirit to body flesh and they might deny Christ. Because what? They have not been filled with the Holy Spirit, as in Acts chapter 5, 32, as in Acts chapter 2, that the disciples were filled. When Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit, you did not see Peter denying anymore. He was standing before the signing court of the Roman Gentile supplanters and saying to them, you judge for yourself. Should we obey you? Acts chapter 4, verse 19 Acts chapter 5, 29. Should we obey you, men mortals, or should we obey the living God to preach his good news? Peter, that was once denying Christ, now you see him emboldened by the Spirit of God. For the Spirit God has given us is not of shyness. Oh. <laughs> it is not of fear. fear. That is the Spirit that the Lord God Almighty promised Peter and the rest. Don't go anywhere so that you don't end up denying Christ. Tarry for the Holy Spirit. He will embolden you. He will lead you. He will go with you. He will speak for you. And so you see Peter that used to fear now being bold. Thank God for the Spirit of the Most High God. Abel and Holy Spirit that enables us to do of his will and to keep us holy, true and true, without any hypocrisy. To you, Father, be all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration for your precious Holy Spirit of power, of love, 
of self-controlled and of a sound mind. Amen. See how the Lord has led me. I came here because of our many people, the people of the earth, the people of Jacob, Israel, who don't even know who they are, who are just betraying their wives and thinking and behaving, so what? And in their foolish, sinful relationships, as those of 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5, whom God is about to judge. So God tells the holy people of his children, stay away from them, meaning they are going to be judged. Don't let their evil communication corrupt your good manners. 1 Corinthians 15, 33. So these ones, even in their sinful, lust-filled relationship that they call love, if you don't respect God's word, you go into sexual immorality. There's no love there. It is your lust that is guiding you. You dare to sin against the Most High God. The consequences are in Revelation. That very book you refuse to study. Revelation 2015 says, Anyone whose name is not found in the Lamb's book of life shall not make it to heaven. So, if you like, call the name of God in vain. You will still answer for that. Revelation 21 verse 8 and verse 27 tells you also about how you liars, you sexual immoral, you who behave like Esau despite the warning of Hebrews 12, 14 to 16, don't be sexual immoral. Don't be profane. Say every F word, all these things. Don't be profane like Esau. Don't be religious and godless like Esau. That you are calling the name Jesus is Barabbas that will answer to you on that last day and drag you to hell where he belongs. So repent if you are the copy copy type. Repent oh, according to the very words of the Lord Yeshua. Repent from your betraying attitude in your sinfulness. Somebody trains you to school, does this, does that, save your family members, sacrifice so much. Those ones who do that, they are also selfish. Most of them don't pay their tithes. So God cannot stop the devourer from coming to them. So after training you, you say, uh huh, uh huh, I didn't promise you marriage, I didn't promise you, you promise yourself all sorts of rubbish, including sex, leading you to hellfire. So I came here originally to talk about these betrayers that you will not make it all. Don't let this Matthew 23, 28, whose end is Matthew 23, 33, hellfire. Don't let these false preachers, false apostles who don't preach holiness, don't let them think and say to you, oh, God forgives everybody. They are liars and they will also have their part in the lake of fire. They are the ones that will use dress code to cover their sins and elevate themselves in their pulpit. It's not altar, they will pull you to the pit of hell. As they elevate themselves and galavan themselves over you, many of them are of Philippians 1, 15 to 17, never called of God, of which apostle, the true apostle of God, Apostle Paul, who preaches the holiness standard and bodily presentation of the true children of God aiming for heaven in Romans 12, 1-2, 1 Timothy 2, 9, telling the children of God to be holy. These ones that don't preach holiness to you. Don't they know that Hebrews 12, 14 says, Yes, live at peace with all men as much as you can, but even much more, put in the effort to be holy. For without holiness, you will not see the Lord. Most of you have qualified yourself as in the book I was reading and sharing a bit from the last warning. You have just qualified yourself like that sister from Deeper Life, a book that was forwarded by the Horemon Pastor Paul Rica and a book written by two redeemed pastors. So all of you join to these three congregations, Horemon, Deeper Life, <laughs> Redeem. You can't go against uh, your own, no, Abby. A book that exposes this sister that even evangelizes many 
you know, don't even evangelize. So God will be ashamed of them in another part of the scripture. But this sister evangelized. She refused to evangelize her customer who died. And then she could not even see the Lord. She only saw the angels who sent her to hellfire based on the fact that her name was not in the book of life. So, some of you are not going to see the Lord. The best for those who even made effort more. Maybe you will see the angels of the Lord before you are hearing the part. Matthew 7, 21-23 says it, and this is about the ones who think they know God. You know God, you live in sexual sin, you call it mistake. You know God, you don't study his word, you just want one prophet to come and tell you quick, quick, fix microwave solution. You say you know God, you claim to know God, God does not know you. Matthew 7, 23. Many, God will say to them, I don't know you. If you are not holy, let me give you quick, quick verse. If you don't know God in holiness, I am not practicing holiness. He doesn't know you. You are serving Jesus Barabbas of NIV Matthew 27, 16 to 17. That notorious prisoner who never went to the cross. In summary, this video is about revealing the truth that those who betray, you have a betraying evil demonic spirit within you. You betray your friends, your own spouse, you betray, you betray, you betray. Anytime there's anything for you to gain, you don't mind betraying. Heaven is not your direction. No. You are on the Proverbs 14, 12 path by reason of the scriptures.